Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Focus on the women in your social groups. Focus on them. I'm going to tell you what. One thing, um, when I hear uh, men talking about getting maybe three out of a hundred women, I shake my head. I shake my head. And the reason why I do is I'm like, my. this is Rom's personal philosophy. Mom, not like spraying the machine gun, because that's what that is. And you just throwing out, you basically just throwing out um, a net and trying to see what you can catch. And I'm like, it's no way. Uh-uh, no. Me, instead of focusing, trying to get 100 women, I might holler at 20. And that's I've been like that most of my life. But the percentage I get is like out of 20, 17. This is why. I focus on the women that are in one of my social groups. See, understand something with a woman. Understand something. Even though people use that term hypergamy, true hypergamy, true hypergamy, and then something that's happening in the streets, which I'm going to get into, uh, are different. True hypergamy is when a woman moves from one social class to a higher social class. The women who can usually do that are a small percentage, less than 5% of the population, and that's extremely generous, probably less than 1%. Those are extremely attractive women, and a lot of times those women are diesel women. Shout out to the master teacher BGS. Diesel women are like the sex worker types or sugar baby types. You know, like uh, women who are in that diesel category, there's like so many ways that women can actually get money out of a man. They can move up. They practice true hypergamy. Now, what actually happens out here, yes, women, they practice, there's a form of hypergamy that women practice within their social groups. So they go, they don't necessarily go for a guy on a higher social class, but they'll try to go for the guy that's highest within their group. So a ratchet woman, you know, she don't necessarily go for that guy making a bunch of money and everything. You know, she don't. Because let's be real, most ratchets ain't going to be, the hottest a ratchet will be is maybe a seven at most or a six. They, they usually don't have the skills to be on that diesel level. So you get those lower class women. They usually go for somebody on their own class. See, one thing about women, they stay, they actually stay within their group. Most women stay within their group. Yeah, they'll go for the highest person in that group, but they stay within the group. So if you get a bunch of women, say you get a bunch of women who have college degrees and they are members of a sorority, certain sororities, they'll go for men who are similar. They will go for a man in that social milieu. Now, when I say social groups, that means you have several so every, every single person has several groups they are part of. And it really goes beyond race because somebody will say, well, you know, since I'm a black man, I'll go for, you know, my social group is black. No, no, your race is black. Because like within all social, within all, all racial groups, there's multiple social groups. There's a class, there's several classes. You know, there's several religious religions, several denominations. Like, and I always talk, I, I frequently mention a young uh, lady, young lady friend of mine, young lady friend. And I'm using the term lady friend in terms of uh, me and her just cool. Because if with her, she's real religious. So her social group, the guy she's looking for is a guy who's in church all the time. I always, whenever I see her, I joke with her. I did, there's two jokes I give with her. I say, hey, you that first lady of a church yet? She'd be like, no, Ron. And then sometimes I say, well, have you got with that Muslim guy yet? She says, stop playing, Ron, because she ain't going to mess with no Muslim. But that's her social group. They already know. So a guy within that social group can get her, right? And that's, all, that's like I said, that's the overwhelming 90 uh, 95 to 99% of women stay within their group. In fact, and that's why I say if I'm, 
my percentage if uh you know if i interact with a woman with the intention of getting with her if i interact with the intention now of getting with her i'm that's because i'm focused on women within my social groups and you know as a black man that's not necessarily a black woman that's not necessarily yes there are some there but see just from my background and everything, they would have to have a certain level of education. Like, I would say the overwhelming majority of women that I've dealt with, overwhelming majority, personally, haven't had tattoos. Haven't had tattoos uh, within the black community, had a strong, uh, bougie lens. Like, I've dealt with anybody familiar with the sororities, and this is including my son's mother, were AKAs, AKAs. Anybody in the community know what I'm talking about? AKAs, women like that. Like, pff, it's, a, it's, a, it's almost automatic. They say AKA is like, up, oh, burn. <laughs> you know, and the closest, and even one of them did, there's one I could have got with, but I'll just say there were some um, complications. I'll leave it at that. But, and, you know, but it's the click there. That's one, and then certain women into certain, uh, I'll just say certain spiritual practices tend to click with them. Those are my social groups, you know? And uh, another one is just being a writer. I tend, when women say, oh, you're a writer too, that's it. The thing is, in your social groups, first of all, you already have a connection. You already have a connection. See, when women interact with a man, they're looking to relate to him. They looking for a connection. That's the main thing with a woman. They looking for a connection. And see, some dudes just think money and status, but, you know, the best status will do is within that group. If you got a certain status within that group, they'll pay attention. And the money thing, man, money thing ain't automatic. Because if you got money but you ain't in that person's group, they ain't going to necessarily mess with you. Like if uh, some ratchet woman ran into some you know, guy with money who wanted to trick on her all that. She still, she might, she might mess with him, but she'll avoid having sex with him as long as possible, then give him that pancake sex. And then in a lot of cases, she still won't mess with him. She won't find him attractive unless he doing some of the stuff that she's used to doing, unless he going to go out there and, you know, smoke and drink right alongside of her. So it's like, and even the, even, even the looks thing. Even the looks in, um, even the looks thing. A woman might meet a man and, you know, she might say, oh, he cute and all, oh, he fine. But she don't still might not necessarily mess with him. Let me use the ratchet example again, because it's the perfect one. That woman, like, if okay, you got this woman, she got the weave on, she might have color in her hair and all that. She got about two or three piercings. Got a tongue pier, like tongue pierce. Uh, got that septum ring in her nose. Got her lips pierced. She got about sixteen tattoos. And she run into, and then she run into that guy who people would say, "Well, he a Chad or Tyrone. He real handsome and stuff." She still ain't gonna fuck with. Him. In fact, she gonna look at him and say, "Oh, he corny." He say he cute, but he corny. Now, if he happened to have a bunch of tattoos himself and, you know, some piercings and all of that, and he's just as ratchet as she is, then she'll be like, oh, damn, you fine. Come on, dude. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. All of that plays a part with women. That's why I always say, you, look, focus on your social group. Pay attention. Know where you at and then mess with women on that level. Mess with women on that level. You can get with them. That's why I say, like, I, I got a sniper approach. So, and I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. Like, I'll give you an example. Like, I saw this woman in a grocery store, right? And she, 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 she had the body I liked, everything. She had everything, but I could tell she was on a different social class. And I said hi to her. I said, hey, how you doing? In fact, I complimented her hair. And... I could tell, she, and she was like, thank you and everything, but I could tell by her tone of voice, she wasn't interested. And so I just kept it moving. I just kept it moving. I said, yeah, okay, 
I said, yeah, I always compliment women with a certain hairstyle. And, you know, she she responded, but her tone of voice and everything, it was, she wasn't trying to holler. But the one thing about it is we were at a different social class. But sometimes, sometimes, a lot of times, I throw out something just, you know, I just throw out something just to entertain myself or just to see what's up. Or even just throw it out just to come back and tell y'all. Just to come back and tell y'all. We had a different class. Now, if I came in there with a different vibe and everything and said the same thing, I guarantee she'd have been like, damn. Because I could tell by her social class, she was uh, what BGS would call an 87. She was definitely working class. And they look for a certain something in a man. And I wasn't presenting that. And I was cool with that. Like I said, like sometimes I'll just do something. But normally, if I, if I was in like, oh, got to get some mode, I probably wouldn't say anything too. So that's important. So focus on the women in your social groups. You increase your chances of getting her. This ain't going to say it's going to be perfect, but you increase your chances. So know which groups you win. Deal with women in those groups, and you'll win. Because too many guys out here, they just throw it just because she's fine or something. It's like, nah. All that, see, all that social stuff, the social groups, the culture, that means a lot to women because they want to be able to connect and relate. Like men, we, we, just see, we just see a pretty face and a fat ass, too many. And I'm just like, no, we got to connect on that other level. All right? We, men, we need to understand that. And once you do, it makes shit easier for you. Trust me. So anyway... That's all I got for now. I'll talk to y'all. Peace and many blessings.